what's up it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here today I'm gonna be giving y'all five life hacks or like tips that you can use in the barn or for your horses using bale and twine if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my future videos. If you have on the post notifications, let me know down in the comments for a chance to win a post notification shout out. Okay, so the first one is to use a bale and twine as a sweat scraper. And when I first heard about this, I did not think it was really going to work until I used it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this actually works really good. Which lady is not wet right now. It's been shady, so it hasn't been like quite warm enough to rinse her. But basically all you do is take it and just run it on them like this it works good on their legs also which she's shedding right now but you just like hold pressure to it and drag it and it also like shapes to their body um so it actually works really really well i was surprised oh my goodness mm -hmm. Okay, this next one is to use the twine to tie your horse to because they can break this in an emergency if they were to pull back on it really hard. So what you would do is tie your twine to a ring or your post, wherever you tie your horse up to. And you're going to take the twine and separate a few strands. And this depends on how like easy you want them to be able to break it. If you just want to do literally a few strands where they can easily break it or make it a little bit thicker where they really have to pull back hard. Normally I would put, you know, about like that, maybe a little bit more. And you would take your rope through the hole that you had just made to tie your horse to, but they could break that if they pull back on it. So you can kind of pick and choose like how thick you want it, but it's kind of just a safety thing. If you want them to be able to break off easy, um, you can just separate a few strands and tie them to that instead of the actual ring. The next one is to make a halter out of two pieces of twine, or you can use one. It kind of depends on how big your horse is and how long the twine is, but it is easier if you have two pieces, which you normally do with, you know, a square bale of hay. I have been in a situation before where I went out to spread hay in the pasture and I had to bring in one of the horses and I didn't have like a lead rope or a halter or anything on me. So I just used some twine to catch them with and bring them in. So basically what you'll do, I'm going to take this piece of twine and I'm going to make a loop and just tie that into a normal knot to make a little loop on the end. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. We have two loops like that. I'm going to run one of the loops through the other one and then the tail of that one through that loop to attach the two together. So we made a longer piece of rope. I'm going to take this off of her to show y'all. And then I'm going to do the same thing on one of the ends. And this one is pretty long so you probably really only need one piece. But it depends on like how much of a lead you would want. So, I'm going to put this around her neck and run it through that loop we just made. Like that. And then you're going to take this over this piece and then you're going to put this over her nose. That way you twist it right there. And that is what it looks like. You can use a rope also, but if you just have twine, this will work for you. A rope does work better if you have one on you, but if you don't, um, a twine will work just to bring a horse in or something. I'll show y'all one more time a little bit closer in case you didn't see it. You're gonna run that through there so it's just looped around. And then you're gonna take this like throat latch and you're gonna put this over it that way it doesn't like put pressure on their throat right there and then you'll put that loop up over their nose and use it like that
This next one is to use a piece of twine to cut another piece of twine, which is normally what you would do to open a bale of hay if you didn't have scissors or a knife on you. I don't have a square bale to demonstrate this one right now because mine are all open. But basically, all you would do is take your string, and I feel like this is the most popular like barn life hack with like using twine, but there still are some people that don't know about it. So basically, all you do is you would run this through here and you want to make sure that you're doing long strokes with this because if you are just you know causing friction it will catch on fire because it will heat up so what you want to do is put it through here and you want to do long strokes with the one in your hand and you want to stay in one spot on the one you want to cut so you're just going to go like this and saw it back and forth and it'll cut it like that and I use this all of the time to cut open my square bales if I forget my knife or don't have scissors it works super super good and this last one is to tie your scrub brushes to your bucket so if you have like a ton of buckets in your barn and you normally scrub each one of them out if you always forget your scrub brush you can just tie them to your stall door or tie them to the buckets in your stalls that way you can just grab it and scrub each bucket out. And this would probably work really well for borders. If people don't want to use the same scrub brush for their horses, you can just have everyone their own separate one. So yeah, that was all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed and found it helpful. Today's notification shout out goes to Emma and I'll have it up there on the screen. She said, can't wait for this video. I subscribed and hit the notification. Thank you so much, Emma. I truly appreciate you and your support. I thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.